In this section of this course, we are going to take a look at backup and recovery of vSphere 6.x deployments. We are going to take a look at the vSphere replication appliance, which is called the VRA version 6, and we will also look in depth at the vSphere data protection appliance version 6.x as well. These are the two appliances uh, provided by VMware to provide you with the ability to back up and restore virtual machines or virtual disks as well as uh, replicate across sites and we'll look at each one of them in great depth. We will also take a look at how to optimize replication traffic because anytime you're talking about data going across a network you're talking about virtual switches and physical switches and we'll take a look at uh, the various uh, features available in the VMware uh, distributed switch uh, that allows us to optimize replication traffic and then the markings and so on for the traffic that have to be in place so that once it gets outside the virtual switch into the physical network it is treated with the same uh, respect and criticality as it actually uh, warrants. We will also look at optimizing data protection traffic uh, exactly uh, for those uh, same uh, reasons as well uh, because uh, we have to be sure that the backup jobs are complete on time and that the restores don't take you know far too long. Uh, we need to make sure that uh, we are able to uh, meet our recovery objectives uh, appropriately. We will also back up and restore vCenter and platform services controllers. Uh, this is actually uh, pretty interesting because uh, we now have the ability to have external platform services controllers and uh, the uh, scenario that we will be uh, exploring will be uh, multiple platform services controller which are serving the same SSO domain, which I have called packedpub.local. And uh, these platform services controller are actually at the same site as well, which is the packed pub headquarters site. We will look at the command line for VDP appliances. Uh, the VDP appliance uh, has its genesis in uh, EMC, Avamar appliance. And we will look at the command line for VDP appliance, uh, as well, of course, the uh, graphical user interface. And then uh, we have labs for all the topics above. So there are very uh, few slides uh, basically just to introduce you to what we're going to talk about. Uh, but then after that, we are going to have extensive labs. Now, I need to talk a little bit about these labs. This is an advanced vSphere 6 course. So the assumption that I have to make to keep the videos to a, a reasonable size and time is that you are familiar with all the basic terminology that is there in VMware vSphere and I have access to a very powerful lab and because of that I am able to demonstrate for you advanced topics. So I have four physical servers that are available and I have about two terabytes of storage that is available as well and they're all uh, connected in the same uh, subnet uh, because this is uh, after all a lab I don't want to do too much uh, routing uh, into different uh, subnets but the point of it is that I am able to in these labs show you all the advanced topics that you may not have seen before in other videos or you may not have had a chance to experience in production as well. As an example I will be installing a vSphere data protection appliance at a branch site and then in our environment we will have two vSphere data protection appliances one at headquarters and one at the branch and I will demonstrate replication of uh, backups and uh, restoration from replicated backups as well as re-restoring the replicated backups back to the original data protection appliance. For our scenario with the replication appliance we are going to look at very sophisticated scenarios as well. I have two separate branch offices with their own individual servers I have the headquarters site that has uh, two hosts and uh, I have a vCenter that's running in linked mode with one of the branches and the other branch uh, does not have uh, a linked mode vCenter but it has its own embedded uh, vCenter. So because of the resources I have available at the lab we are now able to do a lot more and which really makes this a truly an advanced course on backup and uh, recovery for vSphere 6 deployments. In this video, we are going to take a look at vSphere replication appliance and the vSphere data protection appliance 
and look at the various characteristics of these uh, appliances, why they are used, why they might be useful, and uh, what it is that you can do with them. First, we take a look at the vSphere replication appliance. In the past, the only way one could replicate uh, data would be from storage array to storage array. So at your headquarters site, you would have your storage array. And then at your disaster recovery site or a secondary site, you would have the same array from the same vendor. Now, storage arrays used to be and still are very, very expensive. And you are locked in into a vendor. With the vSphere replication appliance, you don't have that issue anymore. Because the vSphere replication appliance does not care about the storage at either site. It is able to pick up the data from one vendor and send it across to the other uh, site because it works at a vSphere level. So the vSphere replication appliance replicates virtual machines from the source site to a target site. It can do it from one cluster to another cluster at the same site. Or you can have uh, multiple source sites, for example, your headquarters site, multiple branch sites, and all actually replicating to the shared remote site, which could be your disaster recovery site. And in our labs, we are going to show you these various options. The replication appliance also supports uh, recovery point uh, objectives. The norm is uh, 15 uh, minutes, uh, which means that you will not lose uh, data for more than 15 minutes uh, worth of uh, virtual machine uh, activity. And if the recovery point uh, objectives are being met then that is reported but more importantly if they are not uh, being uh, met they are being violated then the replication appliance actually points out that problem and you can then take the appropriate action if you use virtual vsan on both sides you actually get a five minute uh, rpo to optimize the movement of uh, traffic you can actually set up replication uh, proxies on all your hosts managed by a vcenter what that allows you to do is to directly uh, replicate from the host over to the target site and not have to go through the main vSphere uh, replication appliance if that happens to be running on a different host in your cluster. Interestingly enough, NIOC version 3 support allows us to, NIOC is network IO control, uh, that's version 3 is available in uh, vSphere 6. There are two system traffic uh, data streams. One is called uh, replication traffic and the other is your replication uh, network file copy, NFC, that are specified as system traffic, which means that in, in network IO control, uh, you are able to uh, define uh, reservations and limits and shares for uh, those kinds of traffic. Again, we will look at this in great detail when we are actually uh, working on that topic later in the course. The vSphere data protection appliance provides image level backup and restores, but also provides individual virtual disk backup and restores. A fascinating point, at least for me, is replication of backups. So when you do the backup, you can backup to your local uh, site, uh, but then that backup can be replicated to remote sites and then replicated again, if you wish, to other remote sites. So you need a remote data protection appliance set up. Uh, we have in our lab the resources to actually do this and we go through in great detail the process of replicating backups and then restoring backups to the remote site uh, as well as uh, bringing the uh, remote replicated backup back to the original site in case uh, there is a loss of data at the original site. The file uh, level recovery uh, is also uh, demonstrated so you don't have to well, when the backup might be at the image level, you are then able to go into a file level uh, both for Linux and for uh, Windows. And there is a very nice and simple process to be able to do that. That will be demonstrated in these uh, videos. In case of a disaster, you can do a direct to host uh, recovery. So the virtual uh, or the vSphere data protection appliance uh, is uh, connected to a vCenter uh, server. In case the vCenter server goes down, you can connect directly to the data protection appliance and actually be able to recover the vCenter if that has already been uh, backed up. So you can do an uh, emergency uh, recovery by going uh, directly into the data protection uh, appliance. And of course, uh, more sophisticated uh, backups than at the image uh, level or at the virtual disk level are available for Exchange Server, SQL Server, and SharePoint Server. Data protection appliance gives the ability to download agents that you can install in those application uh, servers and then you can do some very very sophisticated granular level 
backups and uh, restores on those uh, application servers. The data protection appliance also provides you a storage uh, type independence you can restore onto a different kind of a data store which is backed up by a different kind of backup uh, system. So uh, really we are working again at a, at a vSphere VMFS level so it does not really matter what the storage types are. Uh, you can backup and restore uh, platform uh, service uh, controllers which we will uh, demonstrate as well. Now you can run vCenters independent from platform service uh, controllers and you can have multiple controllers supporting one vCenter or multiple vCenters being supported by the same platform service controllers. In our lab environment uh, I will demonstrate both. We, I have a, a linked mode uh, set up which is basically a branch site and the headquarters site uh, vCenters all getting their uh, single sign-on SSO information from from the one platform service controller and then I have deployed uh, multiple service uh, platform service controllers also to demonstrate uh, backup and restore and we can also backup vCenter servers based on virtual machines and uh, an interesting option is backup verification it does automatic backup verification called ABV so if you back up a virtual machine how do you ensure that that backup is uh, consistent and will actually work when you need to restore it by setting up an automatic backup verification job in the data protection appliance uh, you are able to set up that kind of a backup verification including any scripts that you might want to run internally when the restore is done automatically by data protection and as long as the return code from there is uh, zero you're in good shape. Uh, proxies are also uh, available so you can uh, run uh, VDP proxies on individual hosts so that the data traffic or the data production traffic is optimized and does not have to go through a single uh, bottleneck of the one data production client with its internal proxy. So in the next video we are going to jump uh, right in and we are going to look at the vSphere application appliance uh, installation and configuration to get started. I look forward to seeing you on this next video.